Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Outlast Whistleblower. Oh God! I wasn't expecting him here this quickly. Right, so. No Chris Walker to deal with this time. We've got Crazy Cannibal Man with his... Disc cutter, whatever it is. Feed me. No, I'd rather not. Oh, no, 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 no. Come to me. What? Oh, you. No, I'm gonna hide here. Fuck you. Oh no! How did he not see me or hear me? No, not silky. No, you can keep your secret. You can keep your secrets. I don't need to hear it. Uh, well, your hands are free. You can scratch it. So I'm breaking something down. Uh, all material here interviewed with the alert. Right. At the time of Miss Cho's termination, the psychomatic, the psychosomatic effects of the morphogenic engine on female employees and patients have been well established. Already more than seven female employees and patients had reached fictitious half-term pregnancies in a matter of weeks before miscarrying the non-existent children, five of them fatally. Female employees were moved to higher floors in the facility, then to other buildings, and eventually entirely off the Mount, Mount Massive facility. The critical secrecy of Project Warp Rider necessitated secrecy in the motivating factor of, for the reassignments and terminations, resulting in perceived injustice from several terminated parties. Miss Cho has succeeded in acquiring a court ordered FOIA release, Freedom of Information Act, I think that is release of the documents surrounding her termination. Those documents will need to be generated and post-dated providing yeah, that information while skirting the relevant secrecies of the project. Please advise Ethan whatever. Oh, so that explains why there's no female lunatics trying to kill us. The engine had a um, serious effect on them. So they were all moved away. Okay. Oh God! Huh? 
No. Fuck. Where the hell am I going? There's got to be a way out of here. Oh right, yes, I need to get back to fucking the door. He's gone that way. Right. Yeah, back this way. Okay. Oh god, I'm an idiot. What? Hello? Sorry. Anything in here? Any batteries or files? No. No thanks. Stay there. Cook. I, I don't want to. Yes, I remember, I remember. Get out through here. Come on. I'm no one's, apart from my wife's, obviously. Any batteries in here? No. Let's run this way. Ow! Okay, steam hurts. That's good to know. Hey, God, this is. This DLC is really stingy on the batteries. Alright, so. Have to go through that door as I suspected. Batteries, batteries, do you have batteries or a file maybe? No. Oh, there's a file. Father Clark, far be it from me to lie to a man of God, so let me at least say that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your working conditions. 
I and the rest of the staff truly appreciate everything you do for our patients and if you feel threatened by anybody in particular, simply let us know and we can either increase chemical restraints or administer a lobotomy or sim similar calming procedures. Don't underestimate the con contribution your sermons offer our patients, especially considering the depth and this necessarily chaotic nature of hypnotherapy. Our patients need to be bedrocks of God and family. Not all of our poor unfortunates have families to call upon. And so the burden and calling is yours. We are all of us relying on your faith and hard work. Ah, so there was an actual priest here. Not like Uncle Festa. Okay. The way out through here? Am I just being dumb? Oh, ladder. There we go. Oh, God. You alright? Do nothing if you're okay. But he's fine. Don't have to worry about him. Any batteries or files? Doesn't look like it. He's just taking a nap, he's fine. Oh, hi Billy! Oh god, there's the insanity clip. Battery! Hidey, hidey places. Although there doesn't seem to be much good with the cannibal man. Right. Yes! Battery, thank you. Go away. Does he have like a really good sense of smell? Because I get the impression I can't really hide from him. Trees or files. God damn it. Oh, fuck. That was dumb of me. Just run, just run, just run. Get over the thing! Squeezy, squeezy! 
fucking ass. Okay, note to self, don't reload while you're being chased. Hello. Lisa, whoever finds this, know that Murkoff is making monsters. I'd never seen the patients after they'd gone through that German so-called therapy. The engine's so much worse than I could have imagined. They may still be human, but something's been ripped out of them. And too many other things pushed back in. They were not all murderers. They were sick and they weren't killers. Murkoff made them monsters. Dr. Rosett said the engine had verifying effects. The variant outcomes too erratic for any sort of prediction. I took it as idle cafeteria small talk, Raoul's endless chatter. I should have listened. I'll leave you to your therapy session. Close all those doors behind me. Give me some semblance of a warning system. Now here we go. Oh fuck! I don't know how. Find the main valve and shut off the gas to access the airlock. Oh, someone else is in there with him. Right, that leads somewhere, but I'll investigate down here quickly. Battery! Give me. Another airlock. Okay. Any files or anything? No. Right down here. Oh, file. Influencing human behaviour. The potential use of psychochemicals in in polit. Oof. The potential use of psychochemicals in political action operations is well recognised, although it has not been explored as thoroughly as might be expected. Chemical division includes includes it as an objective of its program to be prepared to support or make such operations possible. Non-chemical methods of accomplishing political action operations are also included in the program. Jesus Christ. Present the above McCultra Excerpt to Technical Services Division for budgeting and authorization of continued research into research of Dr. Rudolf Wernicke, asset 14866, and Project War Rider. Autopsy of recovered test subject shows chemical content of bodies, metallic tumors, evidence of subdermal combustion. That indicates heavy psychochemical doses. See note that. Alright then. There's a lot of Techno babble in these notes. Nope. Whoa. Hello. Oh, did I disturb your? Oh, I'm so sorry, I disturbed your head banging. E237 is flashing, whatever that means. I can hide in here. Full circle. Well, 
Right, the light's flashing up there, so I'm assuming that's where I need to go. So let's delay that a bit and search these rooms for much needed supplies, like batteries. I can go up there. Alright, this is a temporary reprieve get away from madman with hacksaw thing, even though it's not a hacksaw. There he is! I'm just going to guess that there's no batches or anything around here for now. Shit. Jesus, this guy. Lots of places to hide, but I'm pretty sure I can't hide from him under these beds. Okay, that's locked. Right, nothing in here. What was that? Okay, apparently something happened and I missed it. Random loud noises. <sighs> Therapy status. Minimal morphogenic agent activity and only at extreme stages 5 and 6 levels of hormone therapy. Dream states return repeatedly to images of isolation and betrayal. Zero lucid state. Diagnostics. Heavy bronchial Accumulation consistent with patients with histories of tobacco and marijuana, exceptionally low REM activity. Interview notes. At the time of this interview, Frank was down to £155 from his admission weight of 228 He was lethargic and largely non-responsive, exhibiting interest only in the hypnotherapy script pattern 9, Vernicay, concerning drinking blood from the chest of, a, of sleeping men. He continues to refuse baths or the attention of a barber outside of general anesthesia, stating, If I cannot partake, I cannot share. Recommend forced nutrition for Mr. Manera if we cannot find something he likes to eat. Murkoff psychiatrist is more rider. Ah, so. This guy was intentionally starving himself because he only wants to eat human flesh. Top stuff. Top stuff. Go away. Oh. Dude, I did not even notice you notice you were there. Hey! Big brave security guard. Alright. Oh, we can't turn it off, I need to find a valve. Okay. Okay.
Oh, goody. Alright, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Outlast Whistleblower, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now. <laughs>